Okay, today's story is The Golden Sleepy Book. The Whispering Rabbit. Once there was a sleepy little rabbit who began to yawn. And he yawned and he yawned and he yawned and he yawned. Hmm. He opened his little rabbit mouth when he yawned till you could see his white front teeth and his little round pink mouth. And he yawned and he yawned until suddenly a bee flew into his mouth and he swallowed the bee. Hoo, hoo, said a fat old owl. Always keep your paw in front of your mouth when you yawn, who did the owl. Rabbits never do that, said the sleepy little rabbit. Silly rabbits, said the owl, and he flew away. The little rabbit was just calling after him, but when the little rabbit opened his mouth to speak, the bumblebee had curled up to sleep in his throat, and all he could do was whisper. What shall I do, he whispered to a squirrel who wasn't sleepy. Wake him up, said the squirrel. Wake up the bumblebee. How, whispered the rabbit. All I can do is whisper, and I'm sleepy, and I want to go to sleep. And who can sleep with a bumblebee? Suddenly, a wise old groundhog popped up out of the ground. All I can do is whisper, said the little rabbit. All the better, said the groundhog. Come here, little rabbit, he said, and I will whisper to you how to wake up a bumblebee. You have to make the littlest noise that you can possibly make, because a bumblebee doesn't bother about big noises. He is a very little bee, and he is only interested in little noises. Like a loud whisper, asked the rabbit. Too loud, said the groundhog and popped back into his hole. A little noise, whispered the rabbit, and he started making little rabbit noises. He made a noise as quiet as the sound of a bird's wing cutting the air, but the bee didn't wake up. So the little rabbit made up the sound of snow falling, but the bee didn't wake up. So the little rabbit made the sound of a bug breathing, and a fly sneezing, and grass rustling, and a fireman thinking. Still, the bee didn't wake up, so the rabbit sat and thought of all the little sounds he could think of. What could they be? A sound quiet as snow melting, quiet as a flower growing, quiet as an egg, quiet as... And suddenly, he knew the little noise that he would make, and he made it. It was like a little click made hundreds of miles away by a bumblebee in an apple tree in full bloom on a mountaintop. It was the very small click of a bee swallowing some honey from an apple blossom. And at that, the bee woke up. He thought he was missing something and away he flew. And then what did the little rabbit do? That sleepy, sleepy little rabbit he closed his mouth, he closed his eyes, he closed his ears, and he tucked in his paws and twitched his nose, and he went sound asleep. Going to sleep. All over the world, the animals are going to sleep. The birds and the bees, the horse, the butterfly, and the cat. In their high nests by the ocean, the fish hawks are going to sleep. And how does a young fish hawk go to sleep? The same as any other bird in the world. She folds her wings and pushes herself deep in the nest, looks around and blinks her eyes three times, takes one long last look over the ocean, then tucks her head under her wing and sleeps like a bird. And the fish in the sea sleep in the darkened sea when the long green light of the sun is gone. And they sleep like fish with their eyes wide open in some quiet current of the sea. And above and beyond, under the stars on the land, all the little horses are going to sleep. Some stand up in the still dark fields, and some fold their legs under them and lie down. But they all go to sleep like horses. 
Even the bees and the butterflies sleep when the moths begin to fly. And they sleep like bees and butterflies under a leaf or a stick or a stone with folded wings and their eyes wide open. For fish and bees and butterflies and flies never close their shiny eyes. And the old fat bear in the deep dark woods goes into his warm cave to sleep for the whole winter. So do the groundhogs and the hedgehogs, the skunks and the black-eyed raccoons. They eat a lot, then sleep until spring. A long, warm sleep. The end.